Hi again, this is David from AppWorks, and I'm here to show you another cool trick. This is one that's used all the time uh, in almost every system that I work on, and that is basically how to load a related record. So um, this technique involves usually a, a, a portal, and you might click on a portal row and basically load the inf more information about this record, so over here on the right. Um, this is sometimes referred to as a master detail uh, user interface pattern. And of course, the easiest way to do this in the current version of FileMaker is to use the self-referencing portal, which you just, in whatever context you're on, you put a list of all the records in that context over here. You click on one, it automatically works, shows you the record. This is a little different in that uh, we actually want to load a related record, not the actual record from the table that we're sitting on. So we're in the purchase order, right? And I'm looking at line items for this purchase order. And really what I want to do is find out what, you know, more information about this line item. Uh, and so what you might expect to see is some, you know, fields basically populate with information about the one that's selected. So if I select this one, then I'd see information over here. It's pretty easy to do, but what we really want to do is make one record related to this purchase order so that we can see it just temporarily. What we're going to do is we're actually going to create a one-to-one -one relationship between this purchase order and one of these items just for the purposes of viewing the information and basically having a temporary relationship between the two. So the first thing we want to do is actually go into the graph and we want to add a foreign key. Um, you'll see this relationship here is purchase order to line item. Normally we take the primary key, we stick it in the foreign key field in the line items. In this case, we're actually going to put a foreign key uh, inside the purchase order table. So we'll go to purchase order. We add uh, something called ID line item, and I use a tilde here to indicate the the function of this foreign key, which is a selected um, selected key. Basically, it's the record that we've selected, and we're going to put that right there. And then now we're going to go back in and add this relationship here. So from purchase order to line item, we're going to copy this by selecting and holding down the option key and dragging it. Um, you can actually also do that by just clicking here and choosing um, line item from here and that'll just put a new instance on the graph. But I do it this way because it's quick. Uh, so now we take this foreign key, sorry, primary key to foreign key. Well you can actually drag it over anywhere since we can't see it, now I can actually scroll down and go, there we go, that's the one. I want to change the relationship. So now what we want to do is take the primary key from the line item, stick it in this field, and now we have one related record. Um, and this one we're going to call PO line item tilde selected. So that's the nature of the relationship, the function of the relationship. Um, and that's going to hit OK. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a button to these portal rows. And the button is going to take the, the, the primary key of this line item and stick it in that field. So we can grab a button up here and just put it right on here. Um, let's make it an icon. And we'll make it a little arrow so it looks like you know it's going to actually do something or show something. I'm going to choose this invisible button. And this invisible button is a style that I actually designed uh, in this custom version of the enlightened theme. Anyways, this button here, all it's going to do is a single step. You can make it a more elaborate script if you'd like, but really all it needs to do is one thing. And the one thing it's going to do is going to set a field, and it's going to set the target field in purchase order, foreign key ID line item selected, and it's going to set it to the line item primary key. So what that means is that the, the PO line item that we're on, that we've clicked on, it's going to take the primary key, stick it in that field, and now we've created a relationship. So that's all we need to do there. And now what we want to do is actually put some fields on here from the context that we want. So let's grab a field 
and we'll just uh, draw one on here. And we're going to choose the field from PO line item selected. And we're going to put the description long. And we'll put that right there. And maybe, um, I wonder if there are any other fields we might want from there. Maybe the unit cost and um, something like that. Unit cost, we're going to make that one really small. Sorry, it's going to take a second. I'm not actually using a mouse. Um, and uh, that's probably going to do it. So now we've got these two fields here. They're related. And when we click on this, it loads the one record. So now we're actually looking at the one related record. If I load this one, it loads a different record. If I load this one, it's loading a different record. Unit cost is 18 for that one. Unit cost is 2250 on that one. So this technique is super useful. And um, it's used all the time. And you can do this in any number of ways. So we could have two or three different portals with different sets of related records all on this record. Each one will have its own loading script, which will load one related record to the one you select. Um, there's a couple caveats in that. This is now, this relationship is stored in the record. So if I go to a different record and I come back to it, it's still going to be this one selected. So or whichever one. So you may need to do something like when you leave the record, clear that field. Or uh, maybe make this uh, row conditionally formatted so that it is highlighted when the ID, the primary key in that related record, uh, is the same as the one that's in this field so that you can always tell which one is selected. And actually we can do that really quick. Um, if I choose these two fields, and I say conditional formatting. Let's add some conditional formatting. And in this case, it's going to be the formula is um, we're looking at the line item, right? So the PO line item. What we want to do is make that highlighted when the primary key is equal to the foreign key in our purchase order. And that's this one. When those two are equal, we want it to be highlighted. That lets you know that that's the one that's been selected. And we're going to go fill color, and we'll just make it like a light yellow color. So now, you can see if I choose this one, that's the one that's highlighted. Pretty straightforward. And if I move to a different record and come back, well, this one is highlighted now because it's actually empty, and they're both empty. If I go like this, you'll see we go back to another one and this is the one that's highlighted. So that's the whole technique. It can be useful in lots of different um, circumstances and lots of different ways and there's different uh, applications, but uh, that's about the whole of it. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope it'll be useful for you. Uh, watch some of our other videos, why don't you?